I'm all zoomed in on your face. There's your face. Hey, face. We're off on another food drive. What up? You got that, you're a genetic superior. You can make a tube out of your tongue. Really? That's what makes you genetically superior? One of them. There's so many things. I have to look at your earlobes. I think that's the other. Um, we'll talk about that in another time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to another Foodrama <laughs> adventure. This one, we're going after some soup dumplings, which are an obsession of Kimmy's. You can't even say the words without her grabbing me, throwing me in the car, and <laughs> doing exactly what you see right here, which is gunning down the highway at about 120 miles an hour. <laughs> so I have to be very careful about putting those two words together. <laughs> okay, well, until you learn how to make them from scratch, this is just going to be our thing. Because we love I'll San Gabriel. Well, I love San Gabriel. See? We're in San Gabriel, yeah. and we're on a mission. So, so somebody put up a sign just for us. It's very appropriate. So thanks, Zoom. Conquistadors. Um, so <laughs> this is the exit. Don't remember which one. Now we're on Valley Boulevard. Yay! Soup dumplings, here we come! Um, this is a relatively new shopping center in that it's, you know, only a few years old rather than, like, you know, 50 years old. Um... And it's super crowded and there's tons of parking, but it still takes an hour to find a spot because it's popular. So we make a trip out here because we can hit a bunch of places at once and we kind of do it in a string. There's a ton of restaurants, a ton of shops, a ton of food and drink and grocery stores out here. So you can kind of come out and get like kind of in a Sunday and just grab a bunch of stuff and kind of be set for the week with all of your kind of supplies and awesome food needs. I'm taking our time showing you the hell pit that is this parking lot, because <laughs> if you really want the LA experience and the San Gabriel experience, then you can see the absolute chaos. I mean, here's the thing. And there it is so in all its glory. <laughs> a super full parking lot because um, a lot of people learn how to drive in Asia, so parking rules are actually just a suggestion. It's a pretty fountain. It is, but not a lot of coins. I don't know pretty why. Pretty fountain. An interesting Spanish-style kind of giant strip mall packed with Asian stores. Well, yeah, San Gabriel Mission. Okay, here's our favorite bakery. Bake code! It's so good. Um, it's one of those weird, awesome Asian bakery setups where you grab a tray and put food on it with tongs. Rather than like in Western-style bakeries where you Just, point at stuff and yeah. they grab it for you, here you get to choose your pieces, which is great. They have a mix of both. So this side, they have a lot of hot dogs <laughs> split into rolls a lot. And then there's the one next to it where hot dogs are cut into coins and yeah. stuffed into, I don't understand. And you have, I think that's a chocolate roll there that you've got, but you kind of go through this. you oh, got to yeah. get in early because a lot of it goes, but it's all really fresh and soft. This is the most amazing thing you'll ever try here. It's the double cheese ring. I love that. I can't eat enough of those. Uh, I think Aaron almost wanted to make out with it. It was so good. And they're very proud. Now we're going to hustle through. Uh, this is some barbecue animals dangling in the window there. I believe that's, those are ducks. I like to bring Westerners there because it freaks them out. It's fun. Um, this is a restaurant. It's actually really good. Don't be scared by the B rating. It just means that it's extra authentic. I kind of love her screaming cook thing at the, in front of the house. I, I can't exactly tell what she's doing. <laughs> she she seems happy. She's on fire. And yeah. It's is she delicious. crying for help or is that like, <laughs> come here, good food? I don't know what she's doing. She's just standing outside so the fire department knows where to go. <laughs> With a spatula in her hand, like... <laughs> I did it, it's me. It's just on fire, my bad. All right, here we are. Juicy dumpling! Um, I can't pronounce the Chinese meaning, so I'm just going to let it go. Oh, so these are uh, garlic, cucumber, and vinegar. Garlic Rice, and vinegar, so sweet and yummy. Um, these are stuffed with barbecue pork. They're super flaky, and I don't know if they were baked and then fried, or fried and then baked. And there's, there's the soup dumplings. Yeah, here's the hero of the story. Soup dumplings. These are They're fantastic. Delicious. They have two kinds. They've got a sweet kind and like a regular kind, and we get a mix of both. Yeah, I prefer the sweet ones, and they're not sweet like sugary sweet. They're sweet in the sense that they use a specific seasoning, like a Chinese seasoning wine in that, and that's what lends Ooh, the sweetness. I'm, bad form. Yeah, I'm not good at this. Don't don't be afraid to over order these because you'll put them down. <laughs> whether it's just us or like more people. You, you'll say nine, they'll go, really nine? You're like, yeah, yeah, really nine. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty okay. easy to put down trays and trays and trays of these because they're so amazing. So here I am making the perfect bite. Um, that's ginger that's been sitting in um, black vinegar. So it's like sour, but not like 
thin sour, it's rich sour, and then like hot sauce, and clearly I love it. Here's the hot sauce that Aaron We're still loves. trying to figure this out, if anybody can help us. It's kind of a, it's got like an orange citrus flavor on top of the kind of normal hot pepper flavor. It's amazing and I want to drink it. It's, wow. You're gonna burp some fire. And here's the dollar store from Japan. Dollar so, fifty. Yeah, like everything here is a dollar fifty unless that? otherwise like marked. A but it's a turtle awesome. from the Hobbit. Hypothetically, panda! there's the cookie panda from the intro. This is 99 Ranch Market. It's my favorite grocery store because it has all sorts of random stuff, but lots Baby, of Asian wait. treats, including Hello Kitty snacks. And you so, forced me to hold that on camera for you with my big dumb cheeks. If you feel like eating Hello Kitty, <laughs> there you go. Um, we're back in the parking lot and you have just heard Kimmy scream boba yeah. so this is how we finish <laughs> off each time as we go to boba <laughs> I demanded boba I so I could how happy that cat is he's a, it's a good luck kitten and there you yeah that's yummy with the headband and the watch it's signature style ladies and gentlemen it's, buy it's it on our website hair tie and watch, watch. <laughs> and um we did this during the holiday season so so there's that no, we didn't. It's universal. We did it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. So this is just to show you that the boba conversation continued into the highway <laughs> as we talked about the various kind of merits of solid food in your beverages. It's delicious. And I'm calling her racist because she's calling me a white boy. But you are white. <laughs> Can everyone take a look at him? He's super white. That's just a thing. Uncomfortable silence all the way home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just busy looking at the fact that my hair is like everywhere on my face. And you said stirf, which is like inside <laughs> baseball for us, which is kind of, kind of the food drama glossary. Stirf is stirf. Yeah, yeah um, welcome to our private lives, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Filling in <laughs> the blanks stirf. of stirf. <laughs> um, but the ride home is always longer than the ride there, mostly because we're full and we have food coma. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Uh, look out for new food adventures and a couple new cooking videos coming your way. Good drama!